Welcome to this week's episode of The Second Scoop. I'm Chris Chang here to give you this week's Big Gun News. In our leadoff story, Defense Distributed, a company out of Austin, Texas, is now shipping the Ghost Gunner. The Ghost Gunner is a CNC machine that is affordable at around $1,200, and any civilian can order this portable CNC machine to complete an 80% AR-15 lower receiver. Now, to back up a second here, so here's what the big deal is about the Ghost Gunner CNC machine. Here is an 80% lower. This is for an AR-15, but the reason why it's called an 80% lower is because it's incomplete. It's only 80% complete. This part here is, uh, it needs to be drilled out, and there are a few other holes that need to be drilled to make this a complete AR-15 lower. As far as the government is concerned, this right here is not a firearm, it's just a hunk of metal. So you don't have to have a background check or any serial numbers, Uh, and so for folks who are concerned about government overreach and knowing which guns they have and uh, and how many, um, the 80% lower receiver route is a uh, very common approach amongst hobbyists. And so the Ghost Gunner machine will allow anyone to put their receiver, 80% receiver, into the Ghost Gunner machine, hook it up to your computer, and you basically hit start, and it will complete your AR-15 lower. The Ghost Gunner machine has been super controversial with all major media outlets, including tech outlets, have been talking about the Ghost Gunner machine and its capability of disrupting the CNC hobbyist gun manufacturing world. It's going to be really interesting to see what impact the Ghost Gunner machine is going to have now that they are shipping to customers, not just in the United States, but internationally as well. And now that the Ghost Gunner machine has made it even easier to build your own AR from an 80% lower, I'm excited to show you what that process looks like on my YouTube channel. Our second story brings us to Aurora, Colorado, where the murder trial of James Holmes begins this week. Holmes is accused of shooting 12 people and injuring 70 others in a movie theater shooting in 2012. The prosecution is seeking the death penalty, while the defense is arguing not guilty by reason of insanity. The trial is bringing victims, witnesses, forensics experts, and other law enforcement entities to testify in the trial, and we'll report any notable progress here on The Second Scoop. In our third story, Orange County, California, Sheriff Hutchins has reversed her stance on CCWs, Last year, the Orange County Sheriff loosened her requirements for what is known as good cause. Here in California, you have to submit a good cause to the sheriff or your police chief to get a CCW, and that sheriff or police chief has discretion, which is subjective, over whether someone's good cause is good enough. Put another way, some parts of California were may issue, while other parts were shall issue, where they shall or have to issue you a concealed carry permit as long as you pass a background check and a firearms qualifications course. Now, the reason for this flip-flop is the United States Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals has decided to rehear a key case called Peruta versus County of San Diego. The Ninth Circuit initially had ruled in favor of a shall-issue CCW policy, but now that the case is being reheard, The Orange County Sheriff has decided to reverse her policy and await the Ninth Circuit's final decision. Now, what's interesting here is that the Sheriff has a lot of authority and power here to keep things the way that they were, where tens of thousands of Orange County residents were able to get their CCWs just by simply saying that they wanted a firearm for self-defense. And so while the small good news here is that there were 1,700 people in Orange County whose good cause application was approved, and so therefore they were authorized to move to the next step of the process to get firearms training, those 1,700 people who had not completed their training, they're not going to have their good cause piece of their application reevaluated. They won't have to reapply, so those folks can continue moving through the process, but Anyone else who applies now moving forward will be evaluated on a much more strict good cause policy. 
And now for this week's segment of A Good Guy with a Gun. Takes us to Gadsden, Alabama, where a woman was awoken at 3 a.m. in the morning by three men. The men held her up at gunpoint, raped her, and robbed her. But thankfully, the story has an ending where justice was partially served. Gadsden police say it was around 3 o'clock Monday morning that three men kicked in the door of this home on Norris Avenue and tied a 37-year-old woman. Here's what she told police, that while two of the men ransacked her home, the third one, a 17-year-old, raped her at gunpoint. Eventually, the two men left, but the teen stayed behind and while beating her in the head with a gun, demanded cash. She says she told the would-be robber her neighbor kept all of her money. Then holding her at gunpoint, the teen walked her to the neighbor's home. That man lives in this trailer outside of a neighborhood business. The woman said she knocked on her neighbor's door, telling him she needed her money because she was being attacked. Seeing the woman standing outside, the neighbor called 911. The woman says her attacker overheard the call and fired twice in the air before aiming the gun at the man. That is when the neighbor, who was armed himself, shot once at the 17-year-old, hitting him with a fatal shot. This is why Americans are allowed to own firearms. When the police can't be there and you have to defend yourself, this neighbor was able to protect not only himself, but his neighbor. And once again, as the saying goes, the only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. And now for the video of the week. The National Rifle Association released a new Eddie Eagle video which promotes firearm safety to children. Stop! Don't touch. Run away. Tell a grown-up. Stop. Don't touch. Run away. Tell a grown-up. What? Why are you singing? Stop. Don't touch. Run away. Tell the crone of stop. Don't touch. Run away. Tell the crone of. Eddie Eagle has been around for decades, having educated millions of children around what to do when you see an unsupervised firearm. I'd be interested in hearing your thoughts in the comments about how effective you think that this new Eddie Eagle commercial is, and I'm excited to hear your thoughts. Well, that does it for yet another week's episode of The Second Scoop. Don't forget to subscribe so that each Tuesday you get the week's big gun news. For The Second Scoop, I'm Chris Chang. Thanks for watching.